Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Color Lookup. This is a new series on my Photoshop Tutorials 101. So basically what we're going to do is change the time settings of the image using Color Lookup. So basically Color Lookup is a new feature of Photoshop CC wherein you can add filters to the existing photo so that you can add more fill to the image itself so so now i'm going to show you how i create this color lookup using adjustment layer so basically we're going to delete first the existing color lookup so that you can see uh, what changes will it make on my existing digital art so basically you'll just go to the create new adjustment layer then select color lookup so using color lookup you can easily change the so using color lookup you can easily change the filters or the colors of your image just by using all these presets that is here on the drop down menu so let's see let's try the two strip look so yeah you have a something like snowy settings and we're just going to press down so this is the tree strip where you can see all the greens the vegetations so you can do this when you're when you like the forest feel the bleach bypass although this is a bit uh, high contrast filter so candlelight so this is like the post apocalyptic filter it will work best if you add more detail to this um, image wherein you can add some ashes flying there somewhere so next is the crisp warm this is the filter that will increase the levels of your um, digital art or the image I mean so next is the winter so as you can see this is this looks like you're in a snowy place so next it next is the drop blues so is a bit desaturated filter and the edgy amber so the edgy amber is like a fiery filter so you can add something like burning stuff here and some more details so that you can show your picture as if it is burning or something like, like that so let your creativity work <laughs> So now next is the fall color. So it's yeah, as the filter says, it's fall. You know, fall. So yes, next is the film stock. Yeah, it looks a bit uh, heavily uh, high level co uh, filter. So next is the foggy night. So um, is a you can add some fog here. So that you can add more settings to this um, picture so as you can see this is a bit uh, everything just got a bit blurry and I mean foggy or all of a sudden so I will show you a trick on how you can delete some of these um, filters later so next is the this is just a Fuji Eterna is a 2.250 B for G3 5 1 10 so these are like um, uh, camera settings so I'll just go and I'll just go fast and scroll this down so oops sorry sorry about that so yeah so Fuji Turna this is the F125 Fuji the Kodak Real, Reala, uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, futuristic blip. So as we all know, uh, this is also a good um, uh, post-apocalyptic um, filter because uh, from an article that I read, if you want to, if you want your image to look a bit apocalyptic you should desaturate your color so yeah this is a very good filter if you want the post apocalyptic look of your image so next is the horror blue so yeah that's a bit scary and next is the Kodak settings so there's 
three of these codec settings, the 5218 and the 5218, although this is a 2395. So, yeah. So, next is the late sunset. So, this is one of the filters that I like. This is a, like, um, it highlights your your sun sunset there you know your your lighting and it turns it into a sunset feel so next is the moonlight so yeah you can also uh, increase the glow on this uh, eyes of the robot and so that it will make your digital art look like it's night time so next is the night from day so it's not very different from the uh, moonlight although it all it highlights the light thing on top a bit more than the moonlight so next is the soft warming so yeah this is like cool just cool so teal orange yeah the, I, I love this filter most of the time it's it highlights the things that I like although you can adjust it like reduce the opacity because it, it makes everything a bit darker in a way so next is the tension green so it turns everything green yeah as the title says so so now i'm going to show you how to delete um uh, some of these filters and so that if you want to highlight just some of the part here i mean you don't want everything to turn green or something like yellow or nighttime you can simply press ctrl shift alt e on top of this color lookup this will generate a new image so yeah i should, um, i'm going to hide all these layers and just highlight this one so as you can see this is my my new combined image or my combined um, I combined every layers that I have including the color lookup so I was going to turn that and turn everything up again oh, sorry. so I will unhide everything again so while well, we have this uh, on top of our layers so we can just um, hide this color lookup since we already used it so if I unhide this layer on top you will see the original image so what I will do is that I will just highlight um, let's say I will I want to delete some of the green um, filters here on top so I'll just you know erase or you can also use some masking so that if you want to undo what you erased or deleted you can just do it by just switching from black to white color so something like that so yes so as you can see um, this is more um, uh, this is more better than what we have earlier so here's another trick you can also add another color lookup on top of everything so as you can see i will just uh, use this futuristic uh, i mean uh, let's not use this because it turns everything desaturated so we're going to use the let's see oh it's, okay so you can see the difference if I turn the bottom layer down. Uh, I mean, I hide, I hide this bottom layer, so you can see the uh, difference. So I will choose another filter, like let's say blue. So if I want to delete again, so I'll just have to Control Shift Alt E. So you can already hide this or delete this uh, layer. So next is I want the bottom part to be blue so I mean the upper part to be blue so I will just delete here like that so I, will, I want to highlight the 
vegetation so as you can see this is not very perfect but I will just want to show you what a color lookup can do okay so that's it so we just have to be more careful in deleting so since I'm just using a mouse, I mean, I've been using a mouse ever since I started doing digital art. I don't really use a uh, pen since I cannot afford one just yet. I mean, <laughs> I have other priorities. So, yes, just something like that. So, yes, yeah, so if you want to add more, you can. I mean, there's no limit to doing this. I mean, this is a fast way to create some concept art I mean doing some uh, I mean adding colors to your concept art by just using filters so let's see what will this give us I mean let's use the, um, let's start with the this one so yeah as you can see there is the highlights there you have it so yeah you can already add some more to this um, image so like what I did on my um, digital art that I released so, so this is when uh, this is the uh, digital art that I did so this is the finished product of what I what can you what, what you see here. So although this was not the one that I released online because it's very colorful in a way. I mean the colors are too bright that it turns out to be a bit cartoon. So as you can see this is the same image but different time settings. So this is the night one. So as you can see I use here the uh, horror blues I think so next is the sci-fi so this uh, I, I think I used the teal orange here so yeah that's it that wraps it up so I hope you like the tutorial and I hope you learn a lot on this um, tutorial that I did and it helps you more on your digital arts and yeah I mean I'm not that good but then this is an idea that I just want to share with everyone so yeah thank you for watching and please like my video if it helped you and please subscribe for more of this tutorial so this is uh, the mechanic and I'll see you guys next time